हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इफ यू नो टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल बाई प्रेसिंग द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन मिलो डू फॉलो मी ऑन फेसबुक गूगल प्लस एट ट्विटर इंस्टाग्राम एक्सेट्रा ऑल द इंस्टाग्राम इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन मिलो If you find this video helpful, please share this video among your friends on social media and please press the like button. If you have doubts, suggestions, or feedback, please mention in the comment section. Uh, in this video, I will be dealing with the numerical regarding the boundary layer and displacement, energy, and momentum thickness. And if you have if you have not watched my previous video regarding the theory and the derivation of the boundary layer and uh, displacement thickness, energy thickness, and momentum thickness, so you can click on the top right corner. i appearing on your screen right now and you can watch those that video first and then this is the numerical regarding the same so how to calculate the displacement thickness energy thickness momentum thickness etc now displacement thickness it is 0 to delta 1 minus v by v infinity dy this we have already derived in the previous video so now here in the numerical what they will be giving you the velocity profile that is v by v infinity or it can be written as u by u infinity one and the same thing so what we have to do we have to use this velocity profile in our integration we have to substitute this value here instead of v by v infinity so i have substituted it and what we get we get this relation and you already know that displacement thickness is denoted by delta star so it will be equal to 0 to delta 1 minus v by v infinity so this we have substituted 1 minus this so this will become plus into d by 1 minus this thing so it will be 1 minus this plus this that we have written here all right and whole integration with respect to y so dy now we have to solve this integration so this is simple we have to integrate with respect to y and substitute the limit 0 to delta so for integration of 1 it is y for it will be minus 2 as it is and 2 by delta as it is because delta is constant and what is integration of y y square by 2 so y square by 2 plus now what is integration of y square it is y cube by 3 so y cube by 3 and delta i square as it is now you have to substitute the limit 0 to delta now when we substitute delta so it will be delta minus 2 delta i square by 2 delta minus delta cube by 3 delta i square so delta you can cancel so what we are left and uh, this is the upper limit minus the lower limit when you put 0 so it will be 0 minus 0 plus 0 so it will be 0 so all we have to do is solve this this value so it will be delta minus delta minus delta plus delta minus delta plus delta by 3 so what we are left is delta by 3 the final value is delta by 3 that is delta star it is equal to delta by 3 and delta is the boundary layer thickness so what we know that suppose this is the boundary layer thickness so displacement thickness is 1/3 of the boundary layer thickness suppose this value this is delta star and this complete is delta this is delta star it is 1/3 of this value complete this relation is shows this now we have to calculate the momentum thickness now in the previous video what is momentum thickness it is denoted by theta now let me show you momentum thickness it was denoted by theta and uh, the momentum thickness was 0 to delta v by v infinity into 1 minus v by v infinity dy now 
again substituting the value of v by v infinity here so we can write as 2 y by delta minus y square by delta square whole into 1 minus 2 y by delta plus y square by delta square dy 0 to delta I have substituted here and then 1 minus I have substituted here now you can solve by taking y by delta is some constant or you can multiply and easily you can solve now here just to simplify we have taken y by delta is equal to m so y will be m delta but dy will be delta dm I hope this is the basic funda you already know so dy is equal to delta dm we have to substitute dy equal to delta dm and we will convert this y by delta as m in term of m so what we are left with now new equation will be 2 now in place of y by delta we write m minus m square bracket close into 1 minus 2m plus m square bracket close dy we write delta dm delta dm now the whole equation now you have to change the limit as well earlier it was y equal to 0 so m will be equal to 0 now 0 by delta that is 0 and when y equal to delta so you substitute here y equal to delta so m will be equal to 1 so limit will change from 0 to 1 earlier y limit was 0 to delta so when you put 0 here y so m will be 0 when you put y equal to delta so delta delta get cancelled m equal to 1 so limit get changed from 0 to 1 you can easily multiply and this is algebraic expression and delta is constant so you can take outside of the integral and when you multiply and integrate what we finally get that I am going to show you so limit changes delta comes outside we multiply this is the final multiplication 2m minus m square minus 4m square minus m to the power 4 plus 4m cube and with respect to dm now we can integrate m it is m square by 2 m square it is m cube by 3 m square again it is m cube by 3 m to the power 4 it is m power 5 by 5 m cube it is m to the power 4 by 4 now when we solve it and we substitute the limits and when we because limit is from 0 to 1 so first we have to place limit 1 and you can see that when you place use the limit 1 so it will be 1 square that is 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 4 by 3 minus 5 by 3 sorry yeah 1 by 3 and we have 5 1 to power 5 by 5 it is 1 so 1 by 5 plus 4 4 get cancelled and we have 5 and we have 4 it is 1 to the power 4 or 1 so this will be when we use limit y equal to m equal to 1 then this will be there now minus when we use the limit 0 so here it will be 0 0 0 0 0 so no need to write again so it will be 0 just we need to solve this when we solve this it comes out to be 2 by 15 this fraction comes out to be 2 by 15 and delta was outside the bracket so what we finally get we get that momentum thickness theta it is equal to 2 by 15 delta and 2 by 15 it is very uh, low value that is I already told in my previous video that delta or displacement thickness or sorry delta or boundary layer thickness it is the largest among them then below that comes the displacement thickness then comes the energy thickness 
and last comes the momentum thickness so momentum thickness is the least so this is the momentum thickness then comes energy thickness that you can find i am going to find and d is the displacement thickness that we have already found so this is the suppose this this is displacement thickness up to here and finally from here to here at the top most this is the boundary layer thickness delta so all it so we calculate each and everything in respect to delta that is how much it is multiplied by delta it is very low fraction so theta is 2 by 15 times of delta so delta is this so theta will be this very small and theta you remember momentum thickness theta it will be the lowest then greater than this is energy thickness denoted by delta double star and greater than this is the displacement thickness denoted by delta star and largest is delta or boundary layer thickness so this is the decreasing order of the thickness of these values first is the boundary layer thickness then displacement then energy and then finally least is momentum so we have calculated the displacement layer thickness delta star and momentum thickness theta now energy thickness similarly we can calculate the energy thickness now energy thickness is somewhat uh, tedious just because of the integration involved in the same fashion just we have done this momentum thickness and numerical we have solved the momentum thickness value we can solve the energy thickness value as well so what we need to do we need to do that 0 to delta v by v infinity into 1 minus v square by v infinity square dy All right. Now, what it was v by v infinity? It was two y by delta minus y square by delta square. So we can substitute two y by delta minus y square by delta square bracket into this is this value bracket one minus now the square of this value two y by delta minus y square by delta square. bracket close now this is square then bracket close v by v infinity whole square so v by v infinity whole square bracket close dy now first you need to substitute y by delta so as to simplify this integration now y by delta y by delta is again m so dy will be delta dm limit will again change from 0 to 1 Because y when equal to zero, m equal to zero, then y equal to delta m equal to one, y equal to delta m equal to one. Alright. So we can similarly in the same fashion we can solve and we can substitute. So it will be two m minus m square. Bracket close into one minus bracket two m minus m square to whole square delta d m. Now we can simplify. And we can find in the same fashion. So suppose. it will come out to be now this is depicted by delta double star this energy thickness is depicted by delta double star so it will come out to be between displacement thickness delta star it will be less than delta star but it will be greater than momentum thickness that means it will be the value will come between this these two values that it will be delta double star will be greater than theta but it will be less than the theta sorry delta star or the displacement thickness because we already know that 
delta is largest among them then comes displacement layer thickness then comes energy thickness then comes the momentum thickness theta so energy thickness it will lie between displacement thickness and momentum thickness that means it will be greater than momentum thickness and less than displacement thickness so this is the universal rule so you can cross check your answer you calculate this 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 and this should lie in the same fashion that is displacement thickness of delta star it will be greater than energy thickness that is delta double star and this will be greater than momentum thickness theta so you can cross check your answer as well i hope you have found the video helpful and if you found the video helpful please subscribe my channel please share my video and please watch my other videos appearing on your screen right now and do share my video and if you have any doubt suggestion or feedback please mention in the comment section in the next video i will be dealing with some other topic and till next time take care bye bye